In Quebec, Canada, 500 kilometers north of Montreal, near the mining center of Shibugamu, lies the Lac Doré complex. Here, just feet below the surface, is one of the largest layers of vanadium in the world. The Lac Doré was first discovered by the government of Quebec in the 1960s. This layered igneous intrusion is the same type of deposit as the world's largest vanadium deposit, the Bushveld complex in South Africa. Unlike gold, silver, or even nickel, vanadium is not a well-known metal. Even though it's used in many of the objects and buildings we see every day, most people have never heard of it. That may be one of the reasons why the market has yet to recognize the economic significance of the Lac Doré and INT deposits. Vanadium is a crucial element in many metal alloys. Its primary application has been strengthening steel. It's used in buildings and bridges around the world. The steel sections of Chicago's famous Willis Tower. The reinforced steel bars in Hong Kong's Central Plaza and the countless new buildings being constructed across China today. Ever-increasing design standards mean more demand for high-strength steel. Vanadium is also used in hundreds of other steel applications. These include heavy equipment, industrial tools, automotive parts, medical devices, ship plates, rail lines, turbine engines, airframes and military vehicles. Demand from the steel sector continues to grow. But what makes vanadium the metal of the future is its applications in green technology. In particular, the arrival of the vanadium redox battery looks set to radically increase global demand for vanadium. Norma is CEO of Ashlon Energy up in Painesville. Uh, and it's a company that provides multi-megawatt energy storage solutions uh, using, and I have no idea what this is, vanadium redox fuel cells. That's one of the coolest things I've ever said out loud. Fortunately, the company has some expertise in this area. The inventor of the vanadium redox battery, Dr. Maria Skylas Kazakos, is Professor Emeritus at the University of New South Wales and a key member of the company's advisory committee. Dr. Skylas Kazakis' involvement is a clear indicator of the significant role that the Lac Doré and INT deposits can play in the development of the VRB and other green technology. The VRB is a game changer in the arenas of renewable energy and grid level storage. All of us are familiar with the lithium battery found in our mobile phones and notebook computers. Lithium batteries gradually lose their ability to retain a charge and cease to work after a few hundred cycles. A lot of batteries are limited in how many cycles you can do because they undergo changes in the materials, in the solid materials, every time you cycle it. It changes its form and it, becomes, it eventually becomes inactive, so you can't keep on recycling it. In contrast, the electrolyte solution in the VRB is inert to charge-discharge cycling. Its cycle life is, theoretically, limitless. And energy can be stored for an indefinite period of time. Energy storage is going to be a criti critical component of the smart grid. And that's where you know, we're very confident that the vanadium battery is going to play an important role. Until now, the variable nature of wind and solar power has been a major limitation. VRBs, however, are already being used with great success at a few pioneering sites in Japan and the US. Utilities companies can use VRB technology to optimize electricity supply. VRBs can store electricity during non-peak times and can provide this electricity during peak times. VRBs also have the advantage of producing no emissions. So unlike conventional power stations, VRBs can be located within towns and cities. 